we've got a back and forth discourse going right now on Trey Lance that that completely spans the entire globe from Booger McFarland saying of all the rookie quarterbacks I have the most concerns about him to Brian Baldinger saying this is an offseason where he absolutely can become the player that he is expected to be based on the the maturation that we watched in year one, to practice videos that found their way to social media over the weekend that literally moved the line on NFL MVP in Trey Lance's favor because he looks like he's got a Mahomesian arm. This is all happening at, at, at one time. There's only one way to fix this. Don't say pay him. Play him. Play that man some football. <laughs> That's not bad. That's a three. <laughs> please. Please. Um, the 49ers next season needs to be started by Trey Lance. And it will be. Unless. Unless, dot, dot, unless dot. it's not. Well, unless they let sports talk hosts and Twitter fanboys and all the rest of the so-called experts weigh in. Because right now, there are really only two people in the entire world who have the ability to make the decision on whether or not Trey Lance is going to be the starting quarterback. Three if you count Trey Lance himself. But you're talking about John Lynch and Kyle Shanahan because if they really think and believe that Trey Lance is ready to be the QB1 in this upcoming year, well, then you're going to trade Jimmy. You're not going to court Aaron or Tom, and you're going to go forward with, with Trey Lance, which is what I believe they're going to do. 